Ah, finally, I made it to the past. It looks like I'm actually in ancient Egypt, which means good thing I don't have to travel all that distance to find the Pharaoh. Whew, relief. Now, where is the bastard? So I can duel him into submission and prove that I'm actually keen at games by beating him before he was actually in his prime. Yes, that definitely makes logical sense and... Waiba, is that you? What are you doing here in Egypt? Mokuba? Why the fuck did you not tell me that Joey was in this timeline? Mokuba, why did the portal just shut off? Mokuba? Mokuba, no! No! Mokuba, I said I don't want to do social interactions! That's why I came to this pass! I only am a... I'm a billionaire! I didn't have to deal with social interactions! I don't want to be a normal kid anymore! Yeah, you alright over there, Kaiba? Hey, Wheeler. Hey, Kaiba. Joey, why are you here? How did you oh. get here? Oh, uh, well, you see, this is my summer job. That doesn't explain why you're in ancient Egypt. Well, you know, Mokuba came up to me. He asked if I uh, wanted to make a lot of money. And, uh, y you know, me, I need money. So, yeah, here I am. Wheeler, I hate to tell you this, but Mokuba's allowance was cut off ages ago. He has absolutely no money to his name. You got tricked, fooled, and bamboozled. Oh no, he gave me straight access to your Kaiba Corp bank account. He you doesn't have access to that. The password is Blue Eyes One. I understand. I'll pay you for insurance because technically speaking, this was technically a whole lot of illegalities because you didn't actually know what was happening and you're not getting paid. So I will pay for hazard pay. And as long as you don't cause me any problems while I try to go find the Pharaoh and duel him into submission to actually finally become king of games, you can stay. Will you pay for skin damage as well? I'll pay you whatever. Where is the fucking Pharaoh? And now you think about it, I really haven't seen him eat. I found him. I can show you card games. I've got Arbley, Scrar, and Slifer. Karibo can kiss my ass cause I have Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> Pharaoh, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass! Oh, uh, where, where, where do you go and what does he want? He wants to duel you. He wants to what me? Card game. Mansplain? Card game. We're being invaded? Pharaoh. Technically, yes. Ah. Uh, uh, I, Seto, fucking Kaiba, am your greatest rival. And challenge you. And if I'm reading this correctly on my hand, a shadow game. Yeah, who are you? I, Seto, fucking Kaiba, am the greatest rival you have ever known throughout history. We have had multitudes of duels and shadow games and other millennium bullshit. And I have proven myself to be one of your strongest enemies and allies at the same time. That didn't answer my question, who are you? The owner of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The owner of what? Just get down there so I can duel you! No. What did- what did- what did- wait, wait. Just get down there so I can duel you, and I know what you know what a shadow game is. You literally are the reason shadow games exist and don't exist at the same fucking time. Now let's get down there and duel. Okay, fine. Leap of faith! Joey, you're sitting on the sidelines, you're the judge of this duel. Yep. I'm a judge? Okay! Look, I don't even know who you are, or what you want from me, but I'll play the stupid card game if it means you'll get out of my palace. What palace? We're in an empty space in the middle of nowhere desert. We're doing some renovating. Since you're the little visitor here, and, you know, since this is my palace, I'm forcing you to go first, because I don't want to go first. Go first. Fair enough, Pharaoh. I understand. You have no idea what you're doing. So let a professional show you how it's done. Let's duel! So first, I'm gonna start this duel off by setting a single card face down, then activating Card of Consonants. What this card allows me to do is I can discard one dragon tuner with a thousand or less attack and draw two cards. Well, what's a tuner? It's so far in the future that not even Joey will understand what it is. The fuck is a tuner? I don't... I don't know. Do you know at home? Like the video and comment if you know. Who the fuck are you talking to, Wheeler? Don't worry about it. Contractual obligations. I didn't even know Wheeler could sign a contract. Don't even know how to spell my name. What this card allows me to do is draw two extra cards for discarding another one. Now, I will set... 
three cards. Then activate Card of Demise. What this card does is I get to draw until I have five cards in my hand. Then, during my fifth standby phase after activation, I send all cards from my hand to the graveyard. Whoa, so you're gonna chop your hand off? Oh, let's see you're adjusting to the customs finally. Not so fast, Kaiba. I activate my trap card. Pot of Greed in attack mode. Yugi, oh, I say this with the most utmost respect. You can't oh, play Pot of Greed on someone else's turn. It only works on your turn, and it's not oh, a counter trap. It it's a spell card. I'm sorry, did this thing always have two faces? All right. Well, I'll activate Mystical Space Typhoon. This card lets me target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. And I'll destroy one of my own. That's a surprise tool that'll help us later. God damn it! I activate card of consonants. We already know what this does, so I won't even explain it. Then I activate a melody of awakening dragon. And this card allows me to discard one card and add it up to two dragon monsters with 3,000 or more attack and 2,500 or less defense for my deck to hand. Look at this, Pharaoh. I'm going to show you one of my most powerfulest monsters the blue eyes, white dragon. But that's not what I'm summoning. I reveal it to then special summon from hand, Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Dragon Gay. Then I'll set one final card and a monster face down. Then I go to my end phase, but doing so activates three cards in my graveyard. Okay, let me guess. Since you have three white stone of agents in your graveyard, that means you can discard all of them into the banished zone and get three blue eyes white dragons, special summon them so it doesn't actually count as a summoning, which means then you have four conditional monsters on the field, right? Not even close. What it actually does is during the end phase, if this card's sent to the graveyard, I get the special summon a blue eyes monster, and because there's three of them, so I can summon three blue eyes white dragons! <laughs> Ah, so that's how the card game works. Okay, I guess it's my turn. I draw. I'm activating the spill card. Twin Twisters. By discarding the Dark Magician, I can get rid of two of your cards from the back row. <laughs> I choose that one and that one. No backsies. You fool, Pharaoh. You destroyed Science. my cards. Well, that was kind of the plan. First off, I'll be setting down one face down card. Then I'll be activating Joker's Street. Now this card, it allows me to special summon one Queen's Knight and then search for either King's Knight or Jack's Knight. And I think you know what that means as well, since it also gives me an additional normal summon this turn. Pharaoh, 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 you're falling right into my trap. I activate my face down card. True light. This card makes it so you cannot target my blue eyes white dragons in my monster zone with card effects. And if this face up card leaves the field and goes to the graveyard, destroy all of my monsters I control. However, this card has a once per turn effect. I can either special summon a blue eyes white dragon from hand or graveyard, or set a spell and trap directly from my deck that specifically lists blue eyes white dragon in its text, with a different name from cards I control and in my graveyard. I'll activate that effect to set one card from my deck face down. Okay, can I continue now? Of course. So, to start off, I summon my Queen's Knight, my King's Knight, and my Jack's Knight. I'm then going to be setting yet another card face down, then activating Card of Sanctity, which allows me to draw until I have six cards in my hand. And since I drew it, I can now summon it. Go Palladium Oracle Mahat! Stop right there, Pharaoh! I have a card to play now. I activate from my grave. During the main or battle phase, I can banish this card from my graveyard and add Obelisk a Tormentor from my deck or graveyard to hand. Then, immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon Obelisk the Tormentor. So I banish and then add my God card. Now, I tribute all of my Blue Eyes White Dragons to summon Obelisk, the Tormentor, the strongest god there ever existed! Look at my god, it's better than yours. 
<laughs> Kaiba, I don't know how you've got my card, but at the same time, I think it's time for a bit of double action. I tribute both Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight to what? summon my own Egyptian god card. No, I no, summon no. Obelisk the Tormentor. You fucking copied my move! That was my move the entire time, Kaiba. Don't know what you mean. Bitch, I summoned more monsters and actually worked for it. You just drove and got him. Okay, anyways, for my next move, I then play Soul Servant. I get to place one card from my hand, deck, or graveyard. That is Dark Magician or mentions Dark Magician Girl. I put this card on top of my deck. So during my main phase, I can banish this card from my graveyard and draw cards equal to the number of Palladium, Dark Magician, or Dark Magician Girl with different names on the field in the graveyard. So then I banish my Soul Servant, and I draw two. And I'm activating one straight away. I activate Dark Magic Veil. So, this card allows me to pay 1,000 life points in order to special summon one dark spellcaster monster from my graveyard. So I'll do exactly that. By getting rid of 1,000 of my life points, I summon Dark Magician to my field. So now, I'm activating Obelisk the Tormentor's special ability by getting rid of both Palladium and Dark Magician. I get to destroy every monster on your field. No! You used your god card to destroy mine! Okay. This is unacceptable! I then activate Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn allows me to bring back one card from either mine or your graveyard. I have choices, I have choices. Which monster are you about to touch? It's probably from my... You're taking alternative, you motherfucker! Yes, I am, Kaiba. I summon Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon to my field. I end my turn by setting two cards face down. It's your move, Kaiba. Well done, Pharaoh. In one turn alone, you destroyed my entire field. But you forgot one very minute detail. Don't fuck with Kaiba. I draw! Perfect. Now, first, I'll activate in my grave White Son of Ancient's second effect. By banishing this card, I get to add a Blue Eyes White Dragon from my grave to hand. I reveal the Blue Eyes White Dragon. To special summon, once again, another Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. This one's Gary. Don't laugh at Gary, you asshole! That's it, I'm finishing this duel once and for all! I activate True Light's effect. I special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from my graveyard! Come on forth, Blue Eyes White Dragon! Oh, I'm not done. Now I'll normal summon Sage of Eyes of Blue. I'll use its effect when it's normal summoned. I can add a one level one light tuner from my deck to hand. I'll activate from the hand Sage of Eyes of Blue's effect. By discarding it and targeting one effect monster and sending it to the grave, I get to special summon a Blue Eyes monster from my deck. And I'll summon Dragon Spirit of White. Now when this card is normal summoned or special summoned, I can target one spell or trap card my opponent controls and banish it. This will decide the duel right here, which card I choose. I must be very smart. I choose this one! I choose this one! I saw you looking uh, at this uh, one earlier. I choose this one! Okay, 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 okay. No backsies! No takes backsies! No take backsies! No take backsies. <laughs> I will set and set another card. I'll end this duel with one move. I'll activate Foolish Burial Goods! This card lets me send one spell or trap card from deck to the graveyard. Now I'm about to send one spell or trap card from my deck to the graveyard. Nope. No, 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 you're not, Kaiba. Nope, nope, nobody, nope, 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 no, no, but, but bad. You, you, Pharaoh, I'm, I'm about to say, what, you don't have anything nope. on the field to stop me. Yes, I do. I activate. Dark Bribe. Not the fuck? This card allows me to negate the activation of your foolish burial goods and destroy it. But you get no. to draw one card. I don't even want it. Uh, oh yeah, baby! That constellation prize is better than the original. Wow! Thank you, Pharaoh. You gave me the exact card that makes this even of a better tool for me to win. I activate Successor Soul. Successor I get to tribute what? one effect monster, then target one effect monster my opponent controls and send it to the grave. I'll tribute Dragon Spirit of White and sending your my Blue-Eyes alternative White Dragon to the grave. After I sent both mine and my other effect monster that was on your field, I get to target a normal level seven or higher normal monster from my hand or deck and special summon it. So let's see if I have one. I do not. Hmm. Well, I have this Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Your demise is finally at hand because what you didn't realize 
full of burial goods, was a decoy. Now I activate my true trump card! Ultimate Fusion! Oh no! Not- I, I don't even know what that card is, but oh no! Ultimate Fusion's effect is a very simple one, Pharaoh. Allow me to explain. During the main phase, Fusion Step on one Fusion monster from your extra deck that mentions Blue-Eyes White Dragon or Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon as material. By shuffling the Fusion material listed on this from your hand, field, or graveyard into the deck, then you can destroy face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of Blue-Eyes White Dragon and Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragons used for the Fusion material. You can only activate one Ultimate Fusion per turn. Kyber, it's been three days. We've been standing for three days after you've been reading that. It's very simple, Pharaoh. I send those three Blue Eyes monsters on the field, which are all named Blue Eyes White Dragon, and I get to summon this guy, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Say hi, Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's not all, Pharaoh. Alterna the Ultimate Fusion has a second effect. When it's used for fusion summoning, any Blue Eyes monster that was on the field that was used as material allows me to destroy up to that many cards on your side of the field. And since I had three, I get to destroy your entire field! Wow, oh no, you're so predictable, Kaiba. You fucking mocking me right now, Pharaoh? Look at this, Pharaoh. Look at this monster. You think you, a puny human, can face off against the magnificent, gorgeous, goddamn beautifulness of this blue eyes, alternative, ultimate dragon? Look at this. It is so magnificently scaly. Ew. Now, Pharaoh, I'm gonna end this duel and finally prove that I'm king of games. And there's nothing you can do to stop me! Blue Eyes, Alternative Ultimate Dragon! Attack him directly! Huh! <sighs> no, I activate <laughs> my ultimate card! Go! Spear Karibo! Turn him into a femboy and turn him to defense mood! You fucking bitch, you're making- you're stalling! Great, you actually are Yugi right now! Ugh, I hate this. I end my I'm turn. Old. I draw. Oh yes, yes. What I need. This is what I need. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win with the card that I don't know who gave me this. <laughs> jo Joey. Oh, jo Joey. Oh, I send him. He's not in the shadow realm, Pharaoh. We send him back to the present. God damn it. Okay. Anyways, I'm activating my secrets of dark magic. I can fusion summon one monster if Dark Magician's in the name and it's in my hand or my field. So by discarding Dark Magician, my second Dark Magician, so I can summon Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. The fuck? Why do you have this card? Yeah, Joe, give it to me. And now I activate its special ability. It gains your monster's attack point since it was special summon until the end of the turn. So 4,500. I activate Pot of Greed. What does that card do? Eh, I'm, I'm just assuming it says two cards. I activate... SWORD! Another stall card. If only I had a way to get rid of that in my next turn. Dra Dragon, kill it. Kill the fucking thing. Kill it. Kill it. Not so fast. I activate my counter trap. Negate attack. I give up. You don't know. No, fuck. Fuck this. No, no. Let me let me put this to the graveyard. No, no. That's the portal to the real world, right? To the pre uh, present day. To the present, yes. Bye. Pharaoh, oh, Pharaoh, wait, wait. This could destroy the space time continuum. Pharaoh, wait. I don't care. Pharaoh, don't I, go I don't through care. the. Pharaoh, no, wait. Mokubo, turn off the portal. Well, oh, god damn it. Now what am I gonna do? This is bullshit! This is literally like the rock from the fucking episode where they literally said it's inconclusive what happens in that battle! Fucking prophecy! I'm gonna be your ass! Mokuba, I swear to god, you better let me through this goddamn portal so I can go beat the Pharaoh's fucking ass! God damn it. Mokuba, if you don't open this door, I can't buy you food or hot pockets! Hi, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content of Kaiba Proportions. Until next time, duelists, peace. Mokuba, for God's sakes, why isn't the portal open yet? I'm gonna die of dehydration. And there's these weird women keep talking to me saying I look like a prince.